This time, I'm gonna try and orbit the sun around a black hole. How's it going, everybody? My name is Finn Pine. We're back. We're playing Universe Sandbox. I haven't played this game in a long time, and I've never not played it in VR. But I know that when you play this game in regular mode, you can change the size of stuff. I want to see what's the biggest star we can make. Maybe even the biggest black hole. Maybe even the biggest planet. I just want to see what's going to happen in this solar system when we start making the sun freaking huge. Let's start making it a little bit big. It's getting big. It's getting big. He's going to swallow up Mercury pretty soon. It looks like Mercury's going faster almost. Whoa, dude. <laughs> That's a big sun. That is a big chunking sun. Nice. Nice one, buddy. Only a little bit more and we'll swallow up Mercury. Let's go for it. The entire game flashes when I do this. Because I'm breaking the universe. Oh, yeah, buddy. What just happened? What just happened? It turned into a white thing. I don't know what the white thing means. Do you guys know what the white thing means? I don't know. Maybe that means it's super hot now. Let's keep going. I reckon we could go bigger. Okay, now we're good. We're good. We're back to yellow sun. And it's still flashing. Or maybe I'm blinking really fast. I can't, I can't tell. Am I blinking? Oh, Venus. There goes Venus. I'm sorry about that, Venus. Venus has assimilated into the sun. All right, Earth, you're next, buddy. Let's just jump down to Earth and find out how Earth's going. I reckon Earth is probably a little bit warm now. <laughs> yep, yep. It's definitely summertime there. Summertime all the time. Hey, what's that over there? The Earth is all the way out there. It's actually like, nah, I'm getting out of this solar system. Things are getting weird. Oh God, oh God. What is that? What is that thing? It's now a brown. It's turned into brown. It's no longer the sun. It's it's a brown. Mars, you're next, champ. There goes Mars. Uh, J has Jupiter turned into a black hole? I can't tell. It's very black at the moment. And it grows. Let's keep going. Got to swallow all the stuff. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Jupiter's gone. See you, dude. Shout out to the new subscribers as well. Welcome to the channel. Make sure you say good day in the comments. All right, Saturn's gone. Just remember, kids, this is gonna happen one day. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. I don't know space. We need to see how big this thing can get. Neptune is also just a black dot now. That sucks for Neptune. Oh, there goes Pluto. All right, swallow all the things. Let's see how big we can get this star. Let's do it. So this thing is massive. It's the size of our solar system. It has swallowed all the planets in the solar system. I'm going to zoom this bad boy out, right? Zoom it out. Zoom out. The Earth is there for some reason. I have no idea why. You think you can escape me, dude? I'm going to start multiplying the radius by 10 times every time. And we're just going to get bigger and bigger. What's Mercury doing there? Whoa! That is big. That is so big. How big will the game allow? I don't know. Things are getting weird. Things are getting very weird. Are we 1,590,183 Milky Ways right now? Is that how big we are? We're like bigger than a galaxy by a million times. There's weird blue stuff now. Is that the, is that, that's the maximum. That's the maximum. You can't get bigger than that. <laughs> Big is an understatement. All right, let's crank this down to Slowpoke. Let's compare how big this star is to like something else that's big. Isn't, uh, isn't UY Scooty the biggest, the biggest known? Oh, oh wow. Wow, it is like nothing compared to this. Oh my God. Dude, the star we, <laughs> why are you so shaky? I don't understand, why, why are you rumbling? Hang on, let's just, whoa. Okay, yep. The sun is now a big boy. Let's zoom it out. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's too big. Let's just compare it to how big the sun really is. So here's our real sun, right? Whoa, he's all shaky. He doesn't understand what's going on. He is a speck. He's a teeny speck. I'm gonna send UI Scooty into our giant sun. Yeah, yeah, move! Move! Now he's moving! Oh, what is that? What did we even just create? It's like our giant sun just farted. It just farted at like a massive gas. That's the biggest fart in the universe. 
the biggest known fart anyway. So now we're gonna get a black hole, right? And we're gonna see if we can actually ramp up the size of this black hole big enough to swallow the sun. I mean, it should be able to anyway, but let's find out what happens. Let's do it. So let's put a black hole right there. I think that's a great spot for a black hole, if I do say so myself. All right, let's click on it. Let's zoom in. All right, radius. Let's just start making this thing big. Oh man. <laughs> I think we made it too big. Wow, that is a big black hole. It's actually the same radius as what that sun is. That is so cool. All right, I'm gonna ramp the time down and we're gonna see if we can actually slowly move this sun. I better start calling it a star, it's a star. We're gonna see if we can move it into the black hole. That is so, so awesome. All right, that's the biggest black hole you can make. Man, that looks cool. Look at that thing! That looks so awesome! It looks like an eye. It's a straight up eye. Come on, move! <laughs> it's not moving. I'm just gonna move it myself. That's fine. <laughs> Let's just put it right there. It'll be okay. Oh, look at that! This star and this black hole can coexist. It's like fully touching and everything is okay. The biggest black hole in the universe and the biggest star are now the same thing. They have become one. One has eaten the other and it looks really strange. I've got another black hole. I want to see if it's possible for us to get stuff orbiting this black hole. Let's try this. I've got a black hole in the middle there. Here we go. Let's see if we can orbit an earth. Oh my God. What just happened? It just fully ripped apart. Maybe we're too close to the black hole. Maybe we need to go a little bit further in. Let's try another Earth. Oh, that one lasted a little bit longer. I, th I think we're still too close. Go again. That one lasted a little bit longer again. I'm not gonna lie, I think Earth needs to get good. It's just, it's not very good at lasting around this black hole. Hey, look at that. We found the Goldilocks zone. There it is. Let's chuck a bunch of Earths around this black hole. Oh, that is awesome. That is awesome. They're surviving. All right, hang on. Let's zoom in a little bit. Let's check this thing out. Slow stuff down, slow it down. There is a black hole there in the middle somewhere. And we successfully have some Earths actually like orbiting around this black hole. That is really cool. But if we add some more, they're just gonna get ripped up, right? Just a few more Earths. They get like one rotation around and then they start to tear apart. <laughs> it's their weak spot. They've got like a, a year and then they're dead. Whoa, that's slow. They're trying so hard to live and they can't. They're just torn apart. That is so weird though. Because it looks like all these Earths are just spinning around nothing. But there's like totally a black hole there. You just can't see it. It's gone. Oh yeah, there it is. There he is. Cool. Okay, let's try the same thing again. This time, I'm gonna try and orbit the sun around a black hole. Let's see if this works. Oh, dude just got torn apart. No way. Oh, that is so cool. It's like a, it's like a light show. All right, another one. Oh, they're totally gonna clash together and then we're gonna get like some kind of, okay, no, we won't. <laughs> I thought we were gonna get like some kind of supernova, but we didn't. Man, that looks awesome. You can see like the weight of the sun or like the, you know, the mass of it or whatever. You know what I'm trying to say is actually throwing the black hole off its trajectory. Which makes me wonder if we could actually get a black hole orbiting the sun. Oh, nice. Supernovas all around. That's messy. <laughs> That's like a stack of suns. All right, what a- whoa, whoa, dude. There's like so many explosions going on right now. Man, life inside a supernova feels like you've been flushed down a toilet or something. It's just messy, brown, and gross. I want to get a Tesla, right? And I want to take a Tesla, like the car, I want to take it from Earth to the sun at the speed of light. <laughs> so, I mean, th theoretically, it's like, you know, it should be like eight minutes to go from Earth to the sun based on the distance. So we might need to speed it up to be faster than the speed of light, but we'll see how we go. So we need to add a Tesla. Tesla Roadster. Awesome. 
Let's put this thing somewhere between the Earth and the Sun. I guess like there is pretty close. That's about as close as I'm gonna get, right? Now we need to zoom into this thing. Let's get nice and close like we're driving the car. We need to rotate it around so it's actually facing the sun. Whoa, that looks cool. <laughs> it's a nice looking car. Now we're pointed at the sun. Now we need to make ourselves be moving at the speed of light, which I believe if we change this to meters per second should be about 300 million meters per second. I think it's about 299, something like that. I don't know. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comments. I'm sure you guys will. All right, there we go. Light speed, straight to the sun. This should take about eight minutes. I feel like we're not moving at all. Are we? Are we leaving Earth? Have we left Earth behind? Where is Earth? <laughs> Earth, where you gone, dude? Where are you gone? Uh oh, we've lost Earth. <laughs> Earth has straight up disappeared. Where you gone, dude? He didn't want to be part of the simulation anymore. So the scale at the moment is pretty close to one to one because I've zoomed right down to this roadster, right? So when we actually get closer to the sun, the sun should look massive. It should just look like a big giant wall of fire as we plummet straight into it. Whenever that happens. It feels like it's been about seven minutes and we've gotten no closer. I told you guys eight minutes. It's a lie. Man, it's so close, yet so far away. It's definitely growing, though. We're on the right track. Come on, Tesla. Plummet into the sun. Yes. It's so big. I feel like we're about to go over the top of it, though. What's that about? <laughs> I wanted to go, like, straight into it. Hang on. Let's readjust our trajectory. Wait. Edit. Edit. <laughs> we're totally going to orbit the sun. And then plow into it like upside down or something stupid. I can see it happening. Oh, we're coming back around. We're so close. We're so close. Come on. Into the sun. Into the sun. Yeah. Nah. Nah, we've missed it. We've missed it again. It's a failure. Oh, oh, oh. Yes. This is it. Into the sun. It's the moment. It's gone. <laughs> it was that quick. Man, I thought the sun was going to look, like, way bigger than that. You know what I mean? It looked big, but it didn't look big, big. I was expecting this just big, chonking, like, wall of fire and pain and death. But it, I, it didn't happen. If you guys got ideas for some crazy stuff you want to see in this game, let me know in the comments below. And thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it, give us one of these ones. I'll see you guys next time.